Plating Cryoplatable Hepatocytes. In this segment, you will learn how to plate hepatocytes for maximum confluence and viability. At this point, you should have completed the steps for thawing and counting cryoplatable cells, recorded your data, and assembled these laboratory materials. With cell counting completed, it is time to determine your total cell concentration. For this demonstration, we will round the numbers to the tenths place. The cell concentration is calculated by taking the total number of viable cells and dividing by the total number of squares counted. This number is multiplied by 10,000. 10,000 represents the hemocytometer conversion factor for the volume in one quadrant square, which is 0.1 microliters. This number is then multiplied by the cell dilution factor of 10. The result will provide the total number of viable cells per milliliter. Remember, before we counted the cells, they were added to 5 milliliters of in vitro gross CP medium. 100 microliters of the cell suspension were used for counting via the tripan blue method. Now we measure the remaining volume of cell suspension with a serological pipette to get an accurate volume measurement. Theoretically, the volume of cell suspension remaining would be 5.9 milliliters. To determine the total viable cell yield, the cell concentration of 1.5 times 10 to the 6 cells per milliliter is multiplied by 5.9 milliliters for a total cell yield of 8.9 times 10 to the 6 cells. For plating cryoplatable hepatocytes, our target cell concentration is 0.7 times 10 to the 6 viable cells per milliliter for most well formats. The remaining 5.9 milliliters of original cell suspension must be brought up to the final resuspension volume to achieve the target cell concentration. To determine this final volume, the total viable cell number of 8.9 times 10 to the 6 cells is divided by our desired target cell concentration of 0.7 times 10 to the 6 viable cells per milliliter. This yields 12.7 milliliters as the final resuspension volume. Continuing our example, the original suspension volume of 5.9 milliliters must be subtracted from the total resuspension volume of 12.7 milliliters in order to determine how much in vitro growth CP media needs to be added to bring the total volume up to 12.7 milliliters. To the conical tube of hepatocytes, add 6.8 milliliters of in vitro growth CP media. The final cell concentration will now be 0.7 times 10 to the 6 viable cells per milliliter. The cells are now ready to be plated. Typically, cryoplatable hepatocytes are plated on collagen-coated plates. Other matrices like Matrigel can be used. The volume for each well will depend on the plate format you use. For induction, a 24-well plate is commonly used, with 0.5 milliliters of cells aliquoted per well. Gently shake the plate in a back and forth and side to side manner to distribute the cells uniformly. Avoid any circular movement as this will cause the cells to pull unevenly in the center of the plates. Carefully place the plates in a 37 degrees Celsius 5% carbon dioxide saturating humidity incubator to allow the cells to attach. Human hepatocytes will attach within two to four hours. Non-human cryoplatable hepatocytes like rat and monkey may need to sit overnight in the incubator to allow for full attachment. Celsus IVT's cryoplatable hepatocytes are ideal for induction and tox studies and for biliary transport and metabolism research. If you have any questions, please contact Celsus in vitro technologies.